I have a world record 50.5 inch vertical. However, I posted this video of me testing 12. My reach is 8.1. If you know how to do basic math, you know that's a 47 inch vertical. And one of the comments was, wait, math isn't adding up. That doesn't look like a 50 inch vertical. And my response was that Usain Bolt run 9.58 every single time he ran. No, he did it one time in his life. When I say I have a 50.5 inch vertical, that was my peak physical performance years and years, specifically 11 years of training leading up to that one moment in time where the stars align. My training, my health, and the environment align into perfect conditions for me to test a 50.5 inch vertical. Now, of course, the goal is to break that, but realistically, having a 50.5 inch vertical, my average day is like 46, 47. When I'm fatigued, it might be 44, 45. Or I might do three months of training, it's perfect, and I'm healthy, and I deload, and I might test 49. Or 50. It's all part of the process. It is very rare that you're at your best. That's why it's called your best. You're not always at your best, right? It's the top percentile of performance. Most of the time, you're gonna be average, 50% of that. So if you're in that position, let's say you hit your first dunk, but then you haven't done it for a while, it's okay. Just stay in the lab and eventually you will break past that. And what's cool is that as your peaks get better, your basements get better. And I always grade progress by how good my bad days are getting.